Hello Aries, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what's coming toward you during this current Mercury retrograde. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, this could be what's coming toward you. And this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay. All right. So I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for what's coming toward you, Aries, is joy. Okay. And we also have strength. All right. I love this overall energy. I feel as though you guys have really learned to hold back from things that is not bringing joy to your life, okay? And because you have started holding back or you will start holding back from things that are not of your highest good, it's going to bring a lot of joy and happiness as well as abundance into your life, okay? I also feel as though you guys... There's something about some inner strength, some type of inner strength or some type of power within within you. And I feel as though it's always been there, but you guys are going to feel stronger than ever. OK, you're going to feel stronger than ever. And this could be during retrograde or shortly after. OK, but regardless, I feel as though you guys are definitely taming yourselves in regards to, like I said, things that are not serving you. And I also feel as though you're holding back from anything or anyone that is not bringing you joy. So you're basically putting yourself first. OK, all right. So that's beautiful energy. Let's see what else comes out. So we have balance, acceptance, vanity, and you guys, excuse, excuse my hand, I burned it, okay, passion, victim, faith, bittersweet, and we also have trickery. At the bottom of the deck, we have isolation. So like I said before, you guys are definitely isolating yourself from anything or anyone that is not of your highest good. And spirit is encouraging you to do that, okay? I feel as though for some of you, you may have ended something or you will be ending something during Mercury retrograde or shortly after. Some of you may have already ended something and you're just isolating yourself from this situation or this person. I feel like it was someone that was hard to let go of, but this is something you knew that you had to do. Um, also, Spirit wants you to be careful about letting anyone guilt trip you. I feel like you may have been dealing with someone or some type of situation where um, this person almost, it's like it, they had two sides, okay? There were two faces. It's like one minute they would act as though they were good of, or of your highest good. And then the next minute, it's like this person was in lower vibrational energy or just bringing you a lot of drama or just unnecessary, um, unnecessary, how can I put it? Unnecessary energy that that's just lower vibrational. Okay. Excuse me. I'm going through Mercury retrograde too, guys. So just, we're going to get through it. My communication skills are, you know, all right. So yes, spirit is saying that, you know, someone may try to come back around and guilt trip you and to making you feel as though like you're not perfect or you mess up too or you're not as perfect that you as you try to make it seem you you played a role in this as well okay but um be very careful with that because i feel as though what it is is there's a person that you have let go of that you're isolating yourself from that you are holding back from and this person feels guilty because they know that you were the perfect person from for them okay this person may even try to come back around and tell you that they're thankful for you and that they want you in their life but this is someone that caused a lot of insecurities within you and i feel as though for a lot of you you had to pray yourself through this situation you had to pray yourself um to be able to keep going and keep moving forward all right and if you haven't done that as of yet spirit is saying definitely Definitely pray, okay? You guys are not alone. You definitely have like a guardian angel that's with you, 
okay but there's a lot of enlightenment coming your way and for some of you you're gonna realize why you had to isolate yourself or cut this person off and it's going to be because you're going to receive a lot of abundance. Whatever you lost, because some of you may have helped this person out financially. Some of you just gave this person too much of your time or energy. Spirit is saying you're going to get everything that you lost back. You're going to regain that and more. All right. All right. So, yeah, you guys are definitely walking towards your destiny. You're growing. A lot of you are discovering yourself. Okay. So that's awesome energy. Um, I do feel like there was definitely someone that was in some trickster energy. This person may have played a lot of games with you. They may have lied to you, manipulated you. Okay. They just weren't on the up and up, but there's going to be some type of karma that comes around and balances out this situation. Spirit is also saying that you're better off without this person. It's something about them that causes you to be imbalanced spiritually. I feel as though a lot of you guys during Mercury retrograde or some of you may have already done this. Okay, but I feel as though you're accepting things for what they are. You're accepting the situation for what it is. Um, for those of you that are letting go of something or someone, it may be a little bittersweet, but it's something that you know that you need to do. And remember, you're being guided. Okay, you're being guided through all of this. I feel as though for some of you, this person's going to try to make it seem as though, like I said before, like you think you're too good or that um, like you think that you don't mess up. It's almost like they're going to try to mess with your faith or they're going to try to mess with the decision that you've made. They're going to try to get you to... They're going to try to get you to um, change your mind or they're going to try to play with your mind in regards to you doing what's best for yourself. But spirit is saying this person is just in a mental just in a victim mentality i feel like this is someone that you had a lot of passion for someone that you really cared a lot about okay but yeah spirit is saying that by being with this person okay it just wasn't of your highest good this is the type of person i feel like they're going to see that you're doing better off without them and that's when they're going to get in this victim mentality and they're going to try to play with your mind or play mind games with you, okay? But yeah, it's almost like they're going to try to make you feel like you're wrong for choosing what's best for you. That's what I'm trying to get across here. That's crazy, okay? So someone, keep in mind, someone's bitter, okay? But it's going to be really sweet for you. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Wands, that's you, Aries. The Queen of Swords. We also have the Ace of Cups. The King of Cups. Judgments. The Three of Wands. And we also have the Six of Wands. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So there's something coming in for you. For some of you, it could actually be a new job or some type of promotion. It could be a raise. I feel like it's something monetary that's coming in. Okay. Okay. Um, you guys are definitely thinking logically in regards to some type of relationship that you might have been in. Okay. I feel like this was not giving you satisfaction on an emotional level. You guys were definitely burdened by this person. And so I feel as though a lot of you are going to bring the tower or have brought the tower on this situation and you're going to be moving forward for better. Spirit is saying you've learned a lot of lessons. You've closed out cycles. You guys are not under any type of illusions or you will not be. You're also going to have a lot of different options coming in, but spirit wants you to guard yourself against this person because I feel like they're going to try to get you to let your guard down. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like when they see you happy, they're going to do something to cause you to like to disrupt your happiness. They're going to try to say something to cause you hurt. And it's all because you've ended things with them, with them and and you're fighting them off. So spirit wants you to protect yourself from this person and guard yourself against like trying to come back together with them, especially during Mercury retrograde. For some of you, it could be an air sign. For others of you, it could be an earth sign. We also have Leo here. We have Scorpio. We have um, 
And I'm just going to name the major arcanas. Okay, we also have Taurus. The major arcanas as well as the court cards. But yeah, I feel like somebody's going to be coming in with an offer. I feel like it's someone from your past. But it may also be someone new that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Okay? I feel as though you guys are definitely going to be focused on yourselves, your own wishes being fulfilled. And because of this, spirit is going to reward you. You're going to be rewarded with a lot of success, a lot of abundance. You're going to have more than what you need. Okay? Way more than what you need. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of victory coming up for you. A lot of um, accolades. I see you getting rewards or recognition for a job well done. So this could be at work. I also see a lot of suitors. It's almost like, especially if you're single or if you're trying to move on with someone else or, you know, you're wanting new love in your life. It's almost like you're the most eligible bachelor or bachelorette. Like you're going to be getting a lot of attention and you're going to be seen as someone that's highly sought after. Okay. Wow. Whatever you do for work, you're very good at it. I see they're paying attention to you. You're going to be rewarded for it. Um, This has been a long time coming for some of you. I feel like you guys have been waiting for your ships to come in. You've been waiting for good things to happen. And and I see it. Like it, it's, it's going to happen. And it's all because you guys have been putting head above heart. You cut someone out or you will be. You know, you've taken action in regards to a situation or a person that was no longer serving you. And some of you have either turned your back or you will be turning your back. And I see new love coming. Okay. For some of you, it could be with a water sign. Someone with a lot of water in their chart. Okay. But there's new love here. And this person, this new person is coming to you as a king or a queen. If you're, if you're, you know, whatever you prefer. But it's going to be really good for you. Very, very good for you. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be focused on new. You're going to be cutting out anything that doesn't serve you because you've been through a lot. I feel as though um, you're going to be come. You're going to be very popular, very with the nine of cups, along with the queen of wands. Like if you were to go out, you would be the life of the party. Wherever you go, you're going to get attention, even if you're not seeking attention. And it's all because of your confidence. This is amazing. But yeah, it's pretty much like spirit is rewarding you for taking action, turning your back on someone that was not serving you or a situation that wasn't serving you. And so you're going to be rewarded with um, victory, with success. So this is awesome. Wow. All right. So Aries, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.